Hey everyone, this is Jeremiah Leads Nearby, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the various types of reports you can see within Nearby Now, as well as how to schedule those to be sent out to you and your team members. Now, there's going to be many types of reports that you can create, uh, but before we create them, we want to make sure that we have the proper people listed under the correspondence email list. Uh, this is going to make it a lot faster for you um, to send out these reports to everyone. And where you're going to find that is under account settings and profile. If you scroll down, you'll see this option for a correspondence email list. Uh, now, as you can see here, if you hover over that little question mark, this is where you're going to list all the email addresses of those who you want to receive the reports that are not already listed as admin users. Um, so you'll simply put their email. And if you have more than one, you can just put a comma and a space and keep listing those email addresses. Very simple to do. Make sure you save your changes. Now moving on, we'll want to move. We'll want to go ahead and take a look at the different types of reports. On this left sidebar here, you see the report section. You'll click down, and the first thing you see is a dashboard. Now this is going to show you uh, two things. It's going to be your Nearby Now dashboard and your Google dashboard. Now under Nearby Now, you can see how many check-ins have been done over the lifetime of uh, your account being active, along with how many photos have been added. If you've done any videos, how many cities you've done a check-in for, uh, how many review requests have been sent out, along with completed reviews, your conversion rate, and your average rating. And then if you move over to Google, this is uh, based on your Google business profile. Um, and if you have more than one, there is an option for you to toggle between uh, each profile to see the different ratings and growth. So as you can see here, <clears throat> you'll see a uh, little pie chart with a breakdown of your ratings along with your review growth. Now, obviously, this is a demonstration account, so it's not going to show all of them. But what you will see on your end is your review growth from the lifetime uh, of your business profile being active. And then here you would see a keyword cloud. I know this is going to show various uh, keywords that people are using when searching for your services and the types of keywords that cause your business to pop up. Um, and then under here, you would see just an even bigger list of the other keywords, um, which is a great indicator. It's going to tell you what types of keywords you should probably be using in your check-ins, which is going to help with your SEO. Now, moving along, you have the catalog section. And this is merely just a list of the different types of reports you can create. So you can see all of them here. You can do a report for Google reviews, Google review leaderboard, keyword impressions, data metrics, and other things along those lines. These are right here all referring to nearby now reports and then even your check-ins list, team check-ins. If you want if you're curious, you know, how well your team's doing on on team check-ins, you don't have want to worry about logging into nearby now each time. Uh, we can set this up to be a daily, weekly, monthly uh, report that gets sent out to you and, and any other team members you want included. Uh, but you can see the the list of check-ins that are being done. And then also one of the new reports under the performance section, and that's your city activity. That's going to show you, um, you know, how many cities you've serviced uh, during a certain time period. And we'll click into that, and I'll show you. You can toggle the dates and get a list of those, and you can even um, see if you've added any new cities, which is great. And so we'll go ahead and we'll move through some of these just so you can see what they look like. Um, but let's go ahead and go on down to the review section now. This right here is all referring to nearby now um, reviews. So you have your team request, your request, request list, your completed list, leaderboard customers and ratings. Um, say we wanted to create a report for um, a request list. As you can see, here's a breakdown. This is based on uh, December 7th through March 5th. You can easily toggle the dates. Um, most people do last 30 days. But you have this, you can see um, that I sent out a review request. This one was open. These are sent. They have, they were never opened by the customer or anything like that. Again, this is a, a demonstration account. So let's go ahead and, and schedule this report. As you can see, I'm going to name it. We're just going to name it Review Request Report. And I'm going to set it to a weekly report. I like to make it interactive so you can click around on it. You can do a PDF or CSV. I think um, PDF and interactive are probably the, easier to read than a CSV file. Um, and here, this is where the administrators and correspondence, if you use that list, uh, it's going to automatically 
as it says. Anybody who's been marked as an admin or whoever's listed in that correspondence email list under your account settings and profile section will get this. Uh, or you can do a custom list. And then if you do that, you're just going to head just like you see here. Just put an email, comment space, and, and make sure you list every email that you want to get that. And then you're going to go ahead and click schedule. And then you'll get it. Obviously, I didn't put anyone in there. But that would be scheduled. Now, say you need to go back and make edits to that if you've added new team members or if you've removed someone and you, you no longer want them to receive that email, we can go under the scheduled section right here. And here's where you would find your schedule report. You can simply click into it and make those edits as far as removing or adding uh, emails or even changing uh, how often you want those sent out. Then here under Google, uh, this is where you could actually review or take a look at your your different reviews you've received on Google, and you can even respond to those reviews from here. Um, and a new feature, um, which we'll discuss in another video, is you can actually assign these reviews to a technician, and so that those reviews will pop up on the same city page, just like how Nearby Now reviews automatically generate on the same city page where a check-in was done. And again, you have your leaderboard, keyword impressions, and daily metrics. And here's your check-ins list. This will show you the different types of check-ins. This is also where we can edit these check-ins if we needed to. Uh, but you can go ahead again, you just click schedule, name your report, set the frequency, the delivery type, and who's going to receive it. And under your plugin activity, uh, you have, uh, you can see the different check-ins by city on a daily basis. And under performance, you have your city activity. So over this date range right here, obviously I'm in Raleigh, so all my check-ins have been in Raleigh that I've done, but you'd see a list of, of every city that's received a check-in under a certain date range. And then even your new cities, you can see over that time um, what new cities you've done jobs in. So these are the main reports that you'll see that you'll want to schedule. Um, they're easy to create, easy to edit, um, but I hope you found this video helpful have any questions about any of our products, please feel free to reach out to us at 919-758-8420 or you can reach us at www.leadsnearby.com. Have a great day.